Easy guys, Dorm here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my perk loadout for my dock class in the game Aliens Fire Team. And this class setup really is designed for some of the harder difficulties such as extreme and insane, but also comes in real handy for the intense game difficulty as well. Now I just want to point out there is no right or wrong way of setting up these classes and everyone will have different ideas of how they want to set these classes up and that's absolutely fine. But for me this is just a setup that I found that works really well for me and the teams that I've been playing with in the game so far. So let's have a look at some of these perks. Now you might not have unlocked some of these perks yet and you will unlock them by leveling up the dock kit itself so if you've not unlocked all the squares yet then just keep playing through the game and earning xp for that particular kit and you'll eventually unlock not only some of the core perks but also some of the modifiers as well but also some of these perks can be purchased from the armory as well so if you have a look in there you'll notice there's a few to be able to buy there too one of the most important pieces of kit for me personally playing as the dock is the trauma station which as you'll know is the ability to be able to heal teammates within the radius of the trauma station but one thing that people will probably find with this especially on the harder difficulties is it will start running low or if not running out of the health that it actually gives and once that happens it becomes useless one important tip that you guys should know and you may already know this but you know, forgive me for explaining it again for any of you who are new to the game, is that you can refill this by picking up first aid kits, not using first aid kits, but by picking them up. So it's really important for you to be mindful, not only if you're playing as a dock, but if you are playing in a team with a dock, to not run over and pick up the first aid kits as soon as you see one. Let the dock pick up the first aid kits to be able to refill the trauma station, because not only then can the dock heal you, with that first aid kit but they've also then got additional health to give in the trauma station this makes a massive difference when you're playing on extreme and insane difficulty where you get less med kits throughout the levels in general to what you do on the easier difficulties so that's a really important thing to bear in mind now i'm not going to be talking about every single perk in this list because some of them are obviously quite generic things like enhancing the reach of the trauma station itself but some perks that I find come in handy for if teammates were to go down, like Surgeon's Hands, for instance, which means you can no longer be stumbled while you're trying to revive someone, which is really important. That ties in nicely to be able to pick up allies twice as fast by using the bedside mana perk. And then you've also got rapid recovery here as well, which means after picking up a downed ally, you grant them additional 50% more health. Not only that though, but this one here gives a bleed out time increase by 25% and so does bedside manner which means on those harder difficulties where the bleed out time is shortened significantly you've now got an additional 50% on the bleed out time just by having those two perks on. Another one that I found really useful for me personally is the anesthesiologist say that three times fast after not taking damage for at least 10 seconds, you'll gain 10% of your current life as temporary health. So you'll notice that above my health bar, I've got this little line of additional health above my own, and that really comes in handy for the harder difficulties. You are literally getting the health boost. I did, however, find though that after I'd taken damage and lost some health, that didn't seem to regen. And I don't know if that's a bug or not, because it doesn't say it here, but I noticed that it only regen then once you'd got full health and then you'd get the additional 10%. So just be mindful of that. Another couple of perks that are really good that are attached here to the field medic ability is the support system modifier which means your outgoing healing is increased by 20% and allies now gain 15% ability recharge speed while standing near you. So not only are you going to be able to increase the amount of health that you give when you're healing teammates, but if they stand close to you after they've used an ability, it's going to actually speed up the recharge speed of their special abilities and that can come in real handy on the harder difficulties, meaning that they can use their abilities a lot quicker. We've also got strength in numbers here, which means Field Medic now also grants you 5% damage dealt 
and 5% damage resistance for each nearby ally. So not only are you going to do more damage, but you're going to take less damage from the aliens if they get close. The last perk that I'd like to point out here in my dock grid is the Neurotoxin Specialist, which means dealing damage to an enemy now weakens them, causing them to deal 20% less damage for 5 seconds. This really comes in handy for those real close quarters situations where you might be getting swarmed by the cannon fodder aliens. It means if you've hit them a couple of times but need to maybe reload and they're going to hit you then, it just means they're going to cause 20% less damage. The thing is on the harder difficulties as you will know if you've played them is that the aliens do some severe damage to you even just the cannon fodder aliens which are just the smaller ones that are just usually pouring out of holes in the ceiling and walls and that's a really handy perk to have. So I found that this perk setup works really really well for me and if you've taken any tips from this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Watch this space for more Aliens Fireteam Elite. Stay frosty, watch those corners, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Thanks for watching.